A collegiate Overwatch player has been banned for 30 days, a decision that will end his college career as he will be unable to compete in his last tournament. Nah, man, make it right. Like, it's not like this kid dropped the N-word, right? I think there's an outside chance this guy got hit for 30 days on the first defense, but I agree it's most likely that he had previous actions. Yeah, like, let me see if he if he said that he did or not. Just made a 20-ish minute video. Okay, here we go. On April 12th, Blizzard's customer support team made it aware to the public that anyone who used profanity in either text chat or voice chat could receive punishment as harsh as a permanent ban on their account. My name is Derpy and I've been playing Overwatch since the game release in 2016. I've climbed through the ranks and observed player behavior across all skill ratings and was absolutely shocked when I read some of the tweets that I'm about to discuss with you today. On the morning of April 10th, I woke up to see an email that my account was banned for a month. Unsure as to why, I sent an appeal at least hoping to see the logs that the team decided to ban me over. And yeah. I was met not once, but twice with a botted reply, which I thought was absolutely ridiculous. If I'm going it is to... ridiculous. I mean, I think they should absolutely tell you what you did to get suspended. Like, that's crazy that they don't even tell him what he did. Banned, I want to at least know what I said that was so harsh. Yeah, it's like, I how can somebody know that... To... Updating my ticket would be of no use. Because, so like, to... also people get suspended by just getting mass reported, too. Like, this is a fact that happens at Blizzard. Like, it, it, like we've, we've had this proven many times over the years. So, like, how can a person know that they did something wrong whenever there's multiple use cases of Blizzard banning them, banning people for something that they didn't do? Twitter and contacted Blizzard's customer support team, where mm -hmm. they then informed me of what I said that resulted in the punishment. Yeah. The tweet read as follows. From what we can see, the account was suspended for inappropriate language. I see the F word and the SH yeah. word in there as well with the signature of the Blizzard employee that typed that. And, yes, you read that correctly. I said the F word and the SH word. Now, on initial glimpse, you might think I got rightfully punished. Maybe I made some homophobic remarks, or that SH actually stands for something like self-harm. Yeah. However, I can 100% promise you, and the community can vouch for me, that I never said anything relating to discrimination and never took anything outside of the game. I simply used swear words. I was amazed when I read this tweet. I cannot play on my main account because I used curse words. Keep in mind- This guy's really good. That was such a good play. Holy fuck. Heroes in the game use these words. Cassidy's belt reads B-A-M-F, yeah. which stands for badass motherfucker. Additionally, if you wear the punk costume for Tracer, she sometimes says British curse words like wanker or tosser. The word shit is said in different languages by heroes like Widowmaker and Genji when they receive a discord orb or the venom mine is broken. If profanity is such an issue, then why is it encouraged through different voice lines and skins? Another tweet from Blizzard states that profanity has always been punishable in their game. Like I said, I've been playing Overwatch since Overwatch 1 launched, and I've always kept a consistent behavior when it comes to typing. I never once got muted or banned for abusive chat in Overwatch 1, but in Overwatch 2 I've received numerous infractions. It is not fair to say that these actions have always been punishable when they haven't, and the rules of conduct changed a year ago. For reference, this is what Blizzard is referring to. Their code of conduct reads... This isn't true. Uh, this th what this part of what he's saying isn't true. Uh, it's always been against the rules. Even in, like, 2010, this was against the rules. There was never a time that it was okay for you to use profanity in any Blizzard game. You not getting banned for it in the past is not an indication that you don't ever get banned for it. Like, or that they change the rules. Like, this is like, for example, like a lot of Twitch girls do this, where it's like, oh, but she got banned and I didn't. Or like, I got banned and she didn't. Yeah, because nobody reported her and they reported you. Like, as somebody who's been reported for like literally 15, probably closer to 20 years in Blizzard games, profanity has always been against the rules. When participating in communication of any kind, chat, voice communication, group yeah. finder, you are responsible for how you express yourself. You may not use language that could be offensive or vulgar to others. Now, while I understand that not everybody wants to hear or see curse words tossed around all the time, there is an in-game filter that blocks these words out in text chat if the user enables Well, it. it's also to keep in mind, the in-game filter is turned on by default. So if you see a curse word in chat... You made that happen. There's never a time where a person will inadvertently see a curse word whenever they don't want to see it. Because you have to actively turn the chat filter off. It's default on. As for voice chat, 
If you are playing a shooter game and cannot handle hearing these words, then I think it's safe to say you should not be in the voice channel to begin with. I agree. Blizzard's response to this argument I, is... I, I completely agree, by the way. I think this is just like, uh, again, it, it, it's, it's such a ridiculous, like, it's like some nanny shit. Like, what the fuck? Like, oh, you said fuck? Like, get the... Like, what? What, this is supposed to be a... This is bad? Like, what? It's crazy. And again, like, I think that if he was using... Like, if you're using terms that are sexual terms, I think that that's kind of worse than using, like, fuck or shit. And I guess fuck can be sexual, but it's not fundamentally sexual, right? Not in every single instance. People use it in, like, 50 different ways. So, like, I, I think especially with, like, those two words, there's no logical reason for this. And I think that, again, like, Blizzard can do whatever rules they want. And, like, you know, we have to follow them. If you want to play the games, we have to follow their rules. However, if you want people to respect your rules, they should be logically consistent. And they should be backed up by logic. And there is no logical reason that shit is a bad word, but poop is not. So why should anybody else respect that ruling? You am not saying that they can't do it. They can do it. But nobody's going to respect it or think it's stupid or not think it's stupid. Is that the filter is only there for those that wish to use it. But yeah. profanity is still reportable and actionable. Mm hmm like, what does that even mean? If profanity really is the end of the world, then why is it even able to be displayed in text chat? Since the release of the game... I, I don't understand that either. I, I feel like anything that... If you can get reported for a word, and that report will result in a suspension in the game, that word should not be typable in chat. So, like, if you type the N-word... You shouldn't be able to type the n-word because every instance of typing the n-word results in a ban. Just don't say, like, I, I feel like Blizzard, it's like their own goaling themselves. Like, why are you creating an extra level of basically pitfalls for your customers to fall into? Why not just make it to where it's not possible for this to happen in the first place and then just completely nip the problem in the bud and it never happens? If shit is a bad word that will get you suspended any time that a person reports you for it, then just make it a blocked word that nobody can ever say. Problem solved. Nobody gets in trouble and Blizzard has to do less work. It doesn't make any sense. Anyone who types GG easy in match chat mm -hmm. will be met with a random message to replace it, such as, I feel very small, please hold me, or something, something yeah. dumb like that. My question is, why isn't that implemented when a user says a curse word? I would argue that if that were in the game, the entire match chat would constantly be imploded with these silly messages and users would just get tired of communicating. The reality is that we are playing a game designed for teenagers and encountering swear words is completely normal in these types of games. Now, yeah, I, I also agree with that. I think the idea of a game where you're going around shooting and killing each other if you can't say the word shit, I think this is ridiculous. Like, if you step back and you just think about this for three seconds, you have characters like Widowmaker, who, I mean, guys, there's a reason why Overwatch porn is so popular. You have a lot of these characters that are, like, massively overly sexualized, and you have them killing each other in the game, but you can't say the word shit. This is insane. There's no thinking involved here. I mentioned earlier that I'd been punished several times and not just once, and actually a few of those times I did receive the logs. They got my account banned, and I would like to show those logs okay, let's on see screen, them. so... Um, starting out with the so then it's your fault you knew this was against the rules and you kept doing it what are you doing you knew that you would get suspended for this you've been suspended for it before listen to it times and not just one completely normal in these types of games now i mentioned earlier that i'd been punished several times and not just one i was right there it is you knew that it was against the rules now the rules are fucking stupid but you knew this because you've been punished for it before. And you did it again. Well, what do you think is going to happen? I, I... I hate defending this. Because it's so fucking stupid. But so is doing the thing that you know is going to get you in trouble. And then being like, what happened? Thanks. And actually, a few of those times, I did receive the logs. They got my account banned, and I would like to show those logs on screen. So, yeah. um, starting out with these from about two months ago, you can see I got banned for saying, like, fuck off. Uh huh. Now, my defense for this one was I was probably playing against a Roadhog player 
<laughs> or I was playing against a full counter comp. That's my old For name. those of you that don't know me, I'm pretty much a Reinhardt one trick, meaning that the game is not very enjoyable for me a lot of the time, but I just got to keep playing the hero because I'm 22 years old now and I can't really learn anything else at this age. <laughs> so I just play Reinhardt only. But I still get mad when I'm countered, so I type things like, like fuck off. Something that I haven't ha I haven't typed in a long time. Again, this was two, three months sure. ago. So um, I've been trying to become a better person, but obviously <laughs> I've not changed as I got punished again. And the next thing I typed was, fuck, man. Um, I probably missed a shatter here or... Or, you know, maybe I tried to pin somebody off the map and I took myself with them or they didn't even go off the map in the first, you know. Yeah. I obviously made a mistake in my gameplay and I expressed it incorrectly in chat. I said, fuck, man. And next I said WTF, which stands for what the fudge. Not sure why I got punished for this because I didn't even say a it bad It doesn't word stand that... for what the fudge. Don't insult everybody's intelligence by acting like that's what it stands for. It's not what it stands for. Stop it. We're not stupid. There, I just said WTF, but anyways, whatever. It's just, now, it's the next so obnoxious. Thing I said was sit the fuck down LMFAO. Now, I remember this one vividly. I was playing against a friend in a top 500 rank game. And he's kidding? And when you're playing, if he's kidding, okay, that's fine, right? Uh, I don't know. Like, I, I, look, maybe it just triggered me a little bit because, like, I've, I've had to sit through so many ban appeals and I have people that say shit like that. And they'll be like, no, I wasn't talking about gay people. I was talking about a bundle of sticks. And it's like, all right, now you're permabanned. Now you're super permabanned. You're gone. And so, yeah, maybe it triggered me a little bit. But, yeah. These lobbies, you tend to recognize a lot of the people you're playing against. So there's a lot uh -huh. of banter. And there's a lot of just typing at friends for fun. And they don't sure. actually get mad at this and all of that. I killed somebody and said, sit the fuck down, LMFAO, which I guess is um, just inexcusable, something I should never type again. That's not allowed in a video game space is what I've learned. And finally, um, the last thing I typed was, because my hero sucks balls. Now, again, I'm playing Reinhardt. Um, the hero has not been very good in Overwatch 2. <laughs> not the best hero, I think a lot of people can agree. Um, you should just be on Orisa, you should just be on Ramatra or Winston or something else, but not Reinhardt. And I tried explaining that in the match chat. I said, my hero sucks balls. And, I, you know, that is yeah, something I get that it. just cannot be seen by anybody. Um, totally need to be banned for this. Yeah. Um, just absolutely punishable offense. And I completely understand why I was punished for this. No, I'm just kidding. None of these make any sense at all, and I think that none of these are even me flaming anybody except maybe one of them. And even if I was flaming somebody with these words, <clears throat> what's so bad about that? I said, fuck, man. Like, if you're getting mad over this, like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, it's not my fault. It's your fault. And you need to hide chat or you need to leave the voice channel. I don't know why. Well, I'm you should turn profanity filter on. If this upsets you, then you should... Well, actually, no. Excuse me. You shouldn't have turned it off. You turned profanity filter off, and now you're getting mad that you're seeing profanity. Remember what I was saying before about how normal people in the real world walk down the street and they see a piece of dog shit in the grass, and they're like, oh, that's a piece of dog shit? But people on YouTube and people on, on the internet are walking down the street and they see a piece of dog shit and they get down and they roll around in it and they start complaining that they're dirty. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get out of the dog shit. If you think this is the problem, get the fuck out of it. This is how it is. No, do a voice. No, my, my voice is fucked up. I've done too much yelling in the past couple of days. I'm not, I'm not doing the whole voice again for that. No. Reported for these things, but apparently... Somebody got mad that I said this stuff, and a Blizzard admin looked at this and said, yeah. yes, he needs to be taken out of the game. This is not acceptable. We cannot let this guy into our game. Keep in mind that if you were to log on to the game right now and play 10 games, I'm almost positive you'd find somebody slurring. Somebody being sexist, somebody telling others that's to my, do, yeah, it's my alt account. Yeah. do some things that they shouldn't do to themselves. Yeah. If you were in the voice channel all game, maybe you, like if you were losing every game you played, you'd probably find some of these people. But that's common in most games you play. I don't, I don't promote that action at all whatsoever, and I would never do anything like that myself. But my point is that 
those players will get reported and they might still be able to play the game tomorrow. They can still play the game tomorrow. Like, but I'm getting what he's saying is that it's not proportional. So somebody like, in my opinion, telling a person to kill themselves is way worse than doing almost anything else. Right. But like that person doesn't get suspended, but he does for using profanity. Right. So I, I think this is definitely like, this is a criticism of the way that Blizzard bans people. I think it's totally fair for him to say this. He's whining. I think he is whining. And at the end of the day, he knew that it was against the rule and he uh, he did it. I'm still not convinced he's not giving the whole story. Well, you're right that he's not giving the whole story. And oh no, there's going to be another, this is another time where he gets banned. Because he said he had been banned a couple of times before and I didn't know if he was going to show the other ones. He's about to show the other one right now. And for what I'm saying here, like, are you kidding me? I can't say that my hero sucks balls. Like, maybe the balance team should look at my logs, right? And be like, oh, wow, yeah, the hero does suck balls. Maybe they <sighs> should make Reinhardt's pin do more damage than it currently does. Because right now you can't kill a Reaper. You can't kill a Mei with pin. Or maybe they should buff his shield health. Or mm -hmm. give him some speed boost status effect because um, he doesn't have a gun. And he needs to be in close melee range to do damage. But if he swings, he dies immediately. I really uh, like this guy. I agree. Man, if they did that, I'd play the game um, again. Because there's a lack of another tank yeah. in the game. But that's a whole other argument. Yeah, this Anyways, is good. Um, sorry, I'm getting off topic. But here's some more logs um, that okay, I was sent let's when see I the other one. punishment back in August of 2023. And now I'm going to be clear. I'm we not can win. They're brain dead. Turn tracer. I don't know. I can't play. I'm going to try to reduce the context. I received a lot more logs than this, right? Um, none of which were very bad at all. Like I said, I just don't have the screenshot of them anymore. I only took a screenshot of these because I thought it was really funny. So here. Well, then why didn't you show the other part? Because like, in my opinion, I, I don't, I don't think that's the reason why you got suspended. I don't believe that. Yeah. I don't believe that. Get the fuck out of here. Like, I don't think he said anything that's crazy, but I think it's just probably another instance of him just using vanilla, uh, vanilla, um, profanity, right? Here I said we can win they are brain dead i want to just turn corner and jump them and they die i say can we trace her okay i don't know just can't play someone their comp yeah right like um so for context here i was playing against cheaters in a ranked game and i was typing to my Wasn't team this explaining map how we can win one? i called their cheaters brain dead and yeah. i said we need to go fast because if we play a long fight out their cheaters will get value by just clicking on our heads yeah, and killing all of us one. But I guess I shouldn't have said that. I think using harsh words such as brain dead got my account banned. Um, so yeah, I, I don't really understand how these logs can be included when a Blizzard um, employee sends me the logs that got me banned. Just doesn't make any sense at all to me. I think it's I pretty... think if those were his only logs, the odds are that the per the reason why they upheld the suspension is because they didn't review it. Like, he probably just got, like, rage reported, and then Blizzard just didn't uphold the suspension. Or they didn't actually look through it. Ridiculous, That's probably what but, happened. Um, <laughs> I mean, like... And the thing is, like, I'll get unbanned, and, like, am I just not supposed to type these things anymore? I can't say... Obviously, you're not supposed to type them. It literally says in the rules not to type them. Read the rules. Like, what the fu- Like, if- And, and like... I'm sorry, but like this is like this. You are a college player. You need to take this seriously. You shouldn't be playing a game and breaking the rules and then getting mad that you get punished for breaking the rules. Every time I've been suspended and wow, I deserved it. Every single time. When I named my guild Helen Keller versus Traffic, I deserved it. When I named my character All Cock and Balls, I deserved it. When I named my priest Preach Around, I deserved it. When I named uh, my other guild uh, Alabama Wife Beating Squad, I deserved it. Uh, when, I when I said fuck in chat, I deserved it. When I, uh, let's see, I, I think there's probably like 50 other ones. I have deserved every single one of them because I broke the rules and I knew what the rules were because I read the rules. I'm not a victim here. Can we trace her? I can't say that anymore to my ranked teammates in a competitive yeah. game when I'm trying to win. I'm trying to do my best to win the game. That That's just what it comes down to. And I'm getting punished for it. But whatever.
I mean, it's clear that Blizzard's mm -hmm. punishments work off of a volume-based report system where you could get... He's right about this. They do. Everybody knows that. Really banned for anything as long as you receive enough reports. I mean, you this could is type true. nothing at all and you could get banned. And I think this... That's actually not true because you have to use a chat message as a reference, as a report point. But, um, you know, maybe you can report somebody for their name system is absolutely flawed because account action should be taken once a real human has sat down and interviewed someone's law. Oh, Big Dick Tyrese. That's another one that got banned. I just remembered him. ...and decided that what they said was not tolerable. Yeah, that one got Anyways, suspended. after I requested to see my logs on Twitter, others decided to do the same thing because they realized that appealing their punishment online would only lead to a bot response after a bot response. Yeah. Some people saying they received the same automated response from Blizzard on their ticket 10 or more times in a row. Yeah, it's, that, I mean, this I think is the classic WoW experience. Insane. I think when it comes to dealing with account punishments, somebody, a, a real human being, should look at the logs and let somebody know why they were punished at all times. I think there should never be an automated response. I think that's laziness from Blizzard and just doesn't show any care to their player base at all. One of Blizzard's responses to someone's request states that they were punished for barking orders at their teammates. It reads, name calling, even if it isn't profanity, can be considered toxicity, Jack. And I don't know why they're using this real guy, this guy's real name in this tweet, by the way. I think I think that has no place being put in a Blizzard CS tweet, but maybe that's just me. I agree with that. I actually completely agree with that. Blizzard should not be disseminating any personal information in any capacity uh, through, uh, what do you call it, uh, through Twitter in a public space. It's not even a question. Like, I feel like that's against the law. He's actually like, this is probably the worst thing in the whole video. Like, I, it actually is. Like, that's, that, that's crazy bad. Anyways... He goes on to say, barking orders at your teammates, well, some take exception to that. There's a bit of inappropriate language in this as well. Best to not reference body parts. Now, I read this entire tweet, and I just don't know what PJ is getting onto here. I mean... I do. He probably told the guy to suck his dick. That's obviously what happened. And I bet he probably used other profanity. No, because we don't see the logs. Like, they didn't post the logs, but he's lying. Yeah, no, we didn't see the logs. They never showed them. So, no, I'm not going to believe some random person complaining. As I said, I've gone through, like, 10,000 ban appeals. Like, here's the thing. Um, Here, I'm going to show you guys something, okay? This is the way that chatters are like whenever they send in their appeal. And this is how they're like whenever you actually read the logs. Do you really think that I'm going to sit there and just believe that this guy didn't do anything against the terms of service because of this guy? Like, he also said he used inappropriate language. Like, he said three different things. The barking orders, he said referencing body parts, he said a profanity, and he said barking orders. Like, yeah, the barking orders is stupid, but that's probably not what really got him in trouble. It's just, it, it's crazy to me to see this. name calling like are we getting about like what what name did he say like can pj let us know what name he's called this guy like did he just say wow bro like you're a loot like bro what what name was called like that can't be a punishable offense um unless unless well, like I well hold up because the person who put that in there we don't know that that person didn't get because like so this guy got his chat logs from blizzard two times at least right so what do you think the odds are that the person who this guy's complaining about received their chat logs from blizzard and chose not to post them but instead posted an a, a summary of them in order to not look stupid because i think the chances of that are like 90 percent this is very very likely I said it's a discriminant, it's a slur, right? Like, it's something horrible, but True it doesn't Jack. seem like yeah. that. I feel like PJ would let him know he said something, you know, homophobic, mm -hmm. something racist, but but no, it was name-calling, not even a profanity here, as he said. And then barking orders at your teammates, I mean, just, like, makes no sense to me. I mean, it's a competitive game. and That's some not why he got banned. That was just a, was a secondary reason. ...going to suggest things stronger than others will. And then he said inappropriate language, which I've already discussed. And then best to not reference body parts. Like, man, like what worst case this guy said penis. Like, like really? Like, are are we playing Toontown? Are we playing Club Penguin? Like, 
Like, come on, man. Like, this this can't be serious. I mean, I, I used to moderate. I think that what Blizzard needs to do, this is what every company needs to do. They need to do exactly what I said before. They need to have the spurgatory. They need to have everybody who gets in trouble like this guy. They all get sent to their own lobbies where they can call each other gamer words. They can scream into mic all day. And everybody else who's, you know, a Weenie Hut Jr., uh, you know, like a VIP member can sit and fucking everybody. Oh, good game. Good game. Oh, oh, you tried. Oh, you know, better luck next time. And like, why not just put all the gamers in their own lobby and then put all the normal people in the other lobby? What's the problem there? Everybody's happy. The gamers get to use game awards. You're not taking away their culture. And then the normal people get to just play a video game without getting made fun of for being shitty at it. Like, I, I, what's the problem here? Why can't you just have two options? It's like playing easy mode or hard mode in a game. Are you going to play story mode or are you going to play standard? Well, if you play story mode, then nobody can call you a poopy head. But if you play standard, then they can tell you to suck a dick. What's the problem? Why can't Blizzard do this? I don't understand. It's such an easy solution. Mindplex, for those of you that don't know, um, some pretty crazy stuff about me. I used to moderate Mindplex. And Mindplex is a Minecraft server designed for kids 5 to 15, like whatever. Oh yeah, I bet they're, I know what their favorite word is. It starts with N. And it ends with R. That server tolerated more things than Blizzard CS does for Overwatch. Again, a game designed for teenagers, adults, you know. By the way, this complete argument that he's using is fucking stupid. Everything about this argument is completely fucking stupid. A any age, uh, above like 13. But, um, so yeah. So according to PJ, you can't even ask your teammates to swap heroes, help you push a choke, or do anything at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, what kind of gaming environment is this in a competitive game? Let's say absolute worst case, this guy said, holy shit, you are so bad at Widow, just go Torb. There is nothing wrong with that at all. I think somebody could... There is, because it's against the rules. It's against the rules, and you know it's against the rules. Why are you... It's not your decision to... Like, the, the rules are not up for debate. And this is like, it's a college kid. This is a college kid. And I used to think the same way that he did whenever I was in college. Ten years later now, I realize that the rule it's not up to him. This isn't a debate. This isn't a conversation. It's not a dialogue. It's not a, a discourse. This is what the rules are. And if you break the rules, you get in trouble. Why are you breaking the rules knowingly and then crying about it? That's crazy to me. Like, am, am I... Am I an asshole? Like, I, what the fuck is going on? You sound like a dad. No, it, it's like, but somebody needs a fucking reality check here. I feel like somebody needs to say this shit. Because I agree with everything that he says, and it doesn't matter. Kids today wouldn't survive in Modern Warfare 2 lobbies? Of course they would. They're, say, they're, they're doing it now. If you join a COD lobby now... Well, now they have like some voice thing where they can automatically detect things. I'd play Warzone. People were dropping bad words constantly. They were doing it constantly. This is like two years ago. You go to a basketball court. <laughs> I wonder what their favorite word is. You know what their second favorite word is? The bundle of sticks one. I hear it all the fucking time. This is like two years ago. You think it's changed? You think like, oh, 12 year old boys don't use this anymore? <laughs> Of course they do. D Duh. Type 100 similar messages to that, and they shouldn't be banned. I think it's totally acceptable. People don't realize what average people do on the internet because social media is so astroturfed. Like, for example, I, I ban anybody who says anything that's bad like that in any capacity. Because I have to, because if I don't, I get banned. So people view like influencer curated spaces or, you know, uh, publicly curated spaces as being reflective of the general opinion. That's just simply not the case. For somebody to flame you for in-game performance, if somebody flames me, I'm having a bad game and somebody types, holy shit, Derpy, like, ha like, you're so terrible, like. I don't know how you made it this far in your career. Like, you have to be boosted, all that. Yeah, like, sure. 
you're the worst Reinhardt I've ever played with in my life. Something like that, all this. Like, yeah, I'm going to be mad. Like, yeah, I'm going to type something back. Like, uh, whatever. If I played really badly, then yeah, I'll understand. And I'll probably be like, yeah, bro, my fault. But like, you know, like, I think it's, I think it's natural for conversations like that to be in a competitive video game. Like, maybe I'll type something back, whatever. But I'm not going to sit there and report him. Like, he didn't say anything bad to me. Like, if somebody said... Yo, Derpy, bro, you look ugly as fuck in real life, and, like, I hate you, and I hate your entire family, and I'm nuking your house tomorrow. Like, yeah, okay, that might be reportable, but this, what, like, somebody saying I'm shit at the game? Like, man, like, it, I don't... It's against the rules. Just don't break the rules. Just don't, just don't break the rules. Just don't say things that are against the rules. I'm sorry, but like, this is a very valuable lesson for him because this is the way the world works. Nobody cares about what your opinion of the rules are. This is the way it is. And if you don't like it, then stop playing the game. I, I, I'm sorry, but like, this is just the way it is. I'm not saying it should be like this, but goddamn. I, I'm a snowflake if I report you for that. Like, I'm going to dish out some flame, but I can also take it. And I think that's totally fine. Like, let's say, like, my account got banned. Like, I don't even remember what I said that involved the SH word and the F word. They didn't attach any logs this time. But, like, let's just say, like, I said, you guys are so fucking bad. Like... Are you kidding me? Like, that's not, like, bro, like, like, is that what we have to deal with today in 2024? You can't say those Yeah, things? they're against the rules. It's been against the rules for 20 years, man. It's been against the rules in Blizzard games for longer than he's been alive, probably. He says 22? Yeah, 22 years ago it was against the rules. You think I never got muted in Warcraft 3? Oh, I didn't get my dad to buy a fucking $3,000 PC in 2001 to say good game, all right? <laughs> Let me tell you that. Things anymore, like, like maybe I'm an asshole and this video is going to cancel me, but I, I don't know. It, this he's not an asshole, he's just immature. He's immature and he's not thinking about it. He's only thinking about things from his perspective. And he's using his own perspective of it to be like a uh, a benchmark for what should and shouldn't be. And he expects everybody else to live based off of that. It's absolutely ridiculous. You're acting like it's always been this way when it hasn't? I'm the kind of person that whenever I first started playing WoW, I read everything in the terms of service... And then, as soon as somebody made me mad, I would wind them up and make them even more mad and then make them use profanity at me and then report them to get them suspended. I was doing that. I was like 15, 16 years old. Because fuck them. Or frick them, I guess. Okay. And if you play a video game, you should expect to be flamed for having a poor performance. It, it, it's something, it's always that's something that I expect if I play bad, like I said. And I think everyone here should expect that. Everyone watching expects to be flamed if they play bad. Um, and while I'm not encouraging people to get mad at their teammates, right? Like, I'm not trying to have everyone take it out on people. It's like, it doesn't matter what his opinion of this is. Like, I could say that this is a stupid opinion and... No, you shouldn't expect to get harassed because you're not playing a video game to the standard that somebody else on your team thinks that you should be playing it in, right? And this could be a debate, and we could talk about, like, the pros and cons of what I'm saying, but it doesn't really matter because that's not, it's not a debate. It's the rules for Blizzard, and that's the rules, and that's all there is to it. I don't expect to get flamed. I don't enjoy it. Yeah, a lot of people don't like that. Isn't reporting flamers kind of immature on the reporter's side? Well, of course it is. I just did it to, to fuck with them. If I could have pushed a button that banned their account, I would have done it. 
it of course that 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 was the reason why I was doing it was to fuck them over. It wasn't because like, you know, it was some justice thing. No, I was just like I don't like you and I want to fuck you over. Uh, of course, all I'm and and that's not I'm not defending that right. Obviously, that's like that's rat behavior, and I was being a rat. Absolutely, and I have no problem being a rat. But the problem is whenever you act like you're not being a rat or you act like it wasn't always against the rules when it was. Don't sign up for ranked. Sign up for quick play. Why is it the solution to not sign up for ranked whenever you can easily say to the flamers, just don't sign up for ranked either? If you don't, if you're going to get mad in chat and you can't control yourself and type messages out that are hostile to people, just don't play ranked. Just don't flame. Yeah. I don't understand the reasoning here. The same thing can happen in quick play. Yeah, because like at the end of the day, I do think that there is some validity in this. If one person is going into a lobby and being aggressive and hostile and everybody else has to has to mute them, at what point is that person not the problem? Because in any other real life situation, this person would be removed. If you go and you do this at Walmart, you're removed. You go and you do this at Chili's, you're removed. You go and you do this at Applebee's, you're removed. You go and you do this at Best Buy, you're removed. You do this at a club, you're removed. Anywhere in the world, you do it at church, you're removed. Every other situation is like that. It's crazy that people think that they have some sort of uh, God-given right to be hostile and aggressive to other people. No, you don't. Especially whenever you're playing a game that's not even your game. Like, I'm sorry, I'm just, like, and I, I, do you know what makes me so mad? Is the fact that I have to say this. Because I fucking hate this shit just as much as he does and just as much as a lot of you guys in chat do. I fucking hate it. But there is a certain degree of entitled immaturity that people have that they think that they can go into a place, be obnoxious and rude, and everybody has to put up with them. Get the fuck out of here. As I said, Gamer lobbies and Weenie Hut Jr. lobbies. That is the future. That's what they need to do. Separate but equal. Text chat or voice chat, like it's all kind of like it, it all comes down to the individual person. I just it's think it's extremely yep. common they in have any to do game. It. And if you can handle it, or I'm sorry, if you can't handle it, you need to hide chat and stay out of VC. That's just how it is. I just, my... I, I don't understand how a person can't turn this argument around and say, if you can't handle it, then you have to turn off chat and not type in chat. Like, if you can't handle playing the game without having an outburst, you have to turn off chat. Because I feel like that's just as valid. Uh, I mean, really, like, and again, this is the way it works in every other facet in the real world. Opinion, anything goes as long as it's related to the game and not taken outside of it, like I mentioned earlier. So, so there's that. But here's where my situation in particular gets a bit more messy. I play, or I should say I played now. So this is most pro players in real life are competitive and aggressive, you noob? Well, why would I care about that? Well, there's a lot of people that are racist in real life. Does that mean you should just let people be racist in the game? And I know there's some people that are going to say, yeah. But um, no, that's such a stupid argument. Because somebody is an asshole in real life, then you should just let them do it. Again, these are arguments from teenagers. Like, I'm sorry, but these are teenager arguments. Nothing like this work. Nothing works like this in the real world. It, it, I'm, it, I'm sorry, it just doesn't. On a collegiate team, UTD Esports. And right now there's only one collegiate tournament going on, and it's hosted by Blizzard. It's the biggest tournament of the entire semester where players mm -hmm. get the chance to compete for large sums of money. But because I got banned on the account I linked to the tournament, I simply cannot play for the next month, and it's likely that by the time I'm unbanned and eligible to play, my team won't even be in the tournament. You shouldn't have broken the rules when you knew what the rules were and you were punished for it before. You shouldn't have done it. Because it's my last semester, right? I want to compete. I tried messaging a tournament admin to see if there were any exceptions that could be made, yeah. and I didn't really expect much, but... His response was as follows. I think if they give him an exception, I think that's totally fine. I hope they do give him an exception because this is stupid. But I hope that this is a learning experience for him that his own evaluation of the world does not mean that the world has to accommodate that, that evaluation. I hope he gets to play again because this is stupid. But at the same time, he's also stupid. I'm sorry. He won't learn if he gets an exception? I don't know. I think he probably would. 
Dude's not good. Okay, yeah, I think, unfortunately, I think there isn't better anything than me. I can do in this case but uphold the rule book. For players to be eligible, you have to be in good standing with your Battle.net accounts. We don't have oversight on how Activision mm -hmm. Blizzard CS handles account bans and have to respect their decisions. Yep. Now, it makes sense that they can't do anything about it. After all, the tournament is hosted by Blizzard, and whatever they say goes. It yeah. seems the only way I can compete is if my account is just unbanned. My school doesn't offer a scholarship, but if they did, I imagine it would be taken away from me as a result of this punishment, which is insane. Yeah, logically. Imagine if someone who relies on their scholarship to fund their education gets banned for typing the word fuck in text chat. Suddenly you're down... Well, it, it's against the rules. Like, there are, there, are, there are athlete codes of conduct in every school. Like, th this isn't... Like, what are we talking about? Read the TOS, follow the rules, and nothing will go wrong. I think it's a shit rule, too. So here's here's basically the way that I look at it, right? So um, let me think of a good example of this. For a long time, I thought that you shouldn't legally be forced to get car insurance. I thought that was unfair. And whenever I got pulled over and I explained that to the police officer, that did not change the law. It didn't. And I tried to explain to him, like, I don't... I don't think that I should have to do this. This is a private company. The government shouldn't be making me pay a private company. He says, yeah, I, I totally get what you're saying. Okay, will you sign here? Yeah, so it's going to be $280. Okay, all right, great. And so you're going to get it in the next 30 days? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's unconstitutional and it's not good for you. Yeah, I understand that. Okay, so yeah, in the next 30 days, just make sure you pay this on the, uh, on, on the county website. Okay, all right, see ya. And that's it. It's a learning experience because like, again, and now like I, I, I have like a little bit more of a mature take on it now, right? On the insurance thing. But there are a lot of laws, for example, that I don't agree with. I think that there are laws that I think are stupid and I don't like following those laws. But whenever I get in trouble because of that law, I am not innocent because you have to follow the rules. If people are able to make decisions on their own discretion of what is and is not against the law based off of their own personal uh, reasoning, everything in society falls apart. We have to agree to follow rules in any organization that we exist in. Because if you give the person the ability to just decide to randomly, oh, I'm just not going to follow this rule because I don't agree with it, I don't like it, everything falls apart. Okay, but it's just a game. Well, then shouldn't it be easier to follow the rules if it's just a game? Don't you ever think about, like, do you ever think about what you're going to say before you say it? Thousands of dollars and have to face real-life consequences just because you use profanity in a video game. Additionally, I'm affiliated with Citrus Nation, an Overwatch Champion Series team that has made Top 16 in Stage 1 and Stage 2. This past weekend, after they won their streamed match, the players wanted me to do the post-game interview, something I was very down and excited to do. But the tournament staff requested that our hitscan player Lethal do the interview instead, and would not budge when literally the entire team asked if I could do it. I thought that maybe it was because Lethal was the player of the match, or because I'm not listed on the roster, but no. This is what they had to say when we asked why I couldn't do the interview. Derpy, you do have a great personality. I'd love to put you on broadcast, but from our perspective right now, uh, with the whole suspension over saying <laughs> what? shit, uh, what? just too much risk. Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't oh want to. Hey, it would take too long for us to get the wheels in motion. I actually to ruined get my life for like, saying no, SH okay, word, bro. But... I would, I would rather err on the side of caution, but I will talk to them, and uh, if next week, oh. for example, if y'all win another. If I was running a tournament, I'd do the same thing. I do the same thing. He broke the rules. I'm sorry, but like, this is, there's a lot of money involved in this. It's not just his decision. Like, and, and I, I, as I said, I, like, this is making me so mad that I have to defend this, like, soy shit. But the only thing that I hate more than soy shit is main character syndrome. It's crazy. One. Uh, yeah. We'll see if we can do it. Just too oh, kind yeah. of a timeline for me to get approval on that right now. Again, nothing on the tournament organizers or tournament admins. It's in their best interest to not let someone involved in controversy go on to the official Overwatch stream. Then why are you but, complaining about it? But the guy sounded like he wouldn't have minded putting me on, but it was just him playing it safe, which is absolutely... That's of course, do you think... Absolutely understandable. 
But my point is that this punishment is more than just one month of not being able to play the game on my main account. It's a month of not being able to compete or participate in anything Blizzard related simply because I said the F word and the SH word. All in all, this needs to be addressed by Blizzard and it needs to be addressed soon. The game's largest content creators like Flats, SK, Boger, and Sumito have come out- Nobody gives a shit if people make a tweet about it. Like, it doesn't need to be addressed. Like, what do you think is gonna happen? Nothing. Like, <laughs> it's- cr Oh my god. On Twitter and said something about how unacceptable Blizzard's code of conduct has become. Yeah. Players who type anything in text chat or say anything in a public voice channel are at risk of being punished, which cannot be what Blizzard wants for their game. I am so mad. I'm so mad. I'll link you the video. I hope that they unban him. I do. I hope they let him play. I do support him in a way, but I think that he's probably going to... I think that there is a learning opportunity in this moment that he is. he can learn more from this moment then he is going to learn from anything else, in, probably in college. Stop thinking about things in the frame of reference of your own value system. Because everybody else doesn't think like you. So whenever you do something that's disagreeable and that people don't like, don't cry foul and get mad that other people don't like what you're doing. That's, it, it, it's, not, like, it's not up to them to accommodate you. Especially whenever you're playing that other game. I hope this is a reality check. I really do. I hope it's a reality check. And I remember having this reality check myself. I've had, how many of you guys have had this reality check? Yep, I have. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of other instances where I had this reality check. I think that, I, yeah, I, I think honestly the car insurance thing is the main one, right? I'm sure that there's another instance before. But uh, in grade school, yeah, I'm sure that there's been other instances, but yeah, something like that. When Jared egged a cop car, that was a fucking, that was a crazy night, Cody. That was, and the thing is, I told him not to egg that car. I said explicitly, don't do it. That's a cop, because you could tell by the headlights. And, and he fucking did it. <laughs> and we were like, this was like 2009 or something like that. I was so ready to just, like, go clean the cop's car, but, like, we, we did get away from that one. That was crazy. But, yeah. How is that even a remotely good idea? Well, I mean, there's a lot of things that stupid kids do, right? And, uh, you know, I used to be a stupid kid. And so, anyway, um, I think that this is a, a, a big learning experience for somebody like this, because I, I don't think that the people that have, like, the mindset of there's going to be trash talk just deal with it. I don't think that they ever think of the converse argument of like, you know, because people like this say, well, just turn off the chat. Well, couldn't you make that argument towards them with just turn off your keyboard? Don't type the words into chat? Because I feel like telling somebody not to have an outburst whenever they're angry is just as valid as telling somebody not to get their feelings hurt whenever somebody says shit. Like, these are both really fucking stupid. And I also think that Blizzard should, if you have the profanity filter off, you should not be able to report for profanity. This is insane. This is insane. You can turn a filter off, and then you can see a word that you consented to seeing, and then report somebody, and then get them suspended for it. Blizzard's trying to save money on customer service, and they have this dumb fuck system? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. If fuck is against the rules, just blacklist the word like they do with the N-word. It's so simple. It didn't, none of this makes any sense. And I'm sure that I'm going to have some people who are, uh, you know, like, um, saying that, you know, I'm, I'm being soft or, you know, like it's a soy. But I, I would easily counter that by saying having an emotional outburst over a video game is soft and soy. And this is coming from a person who has holes in the walls from emotional outbursts they've had over video games. Why does this one not have... Oh, actually, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, this doesn't really fit on the right way anymore. You know why? Because I had an emotional outburst, like a little bitch, oh, over fucking uh, Prince of Persia. Yeah, broken keyboards. Yeah, and, and that's just the way it is. And so... Uh, I I'm sorry, but, like, that's just, it's just how it is. 
And uh, I, I think it's pathetic, too. And I think they need to have two different kinds of lobbies. That's the solution. Right? Immediately chat bans you. If you say a blacklisted word, it works good. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Is that why you're balding? I don't know. I'm sure it didn't help, right? 